and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lissandra LeBlanc. Going to be our first donation deck of the day. We're going to have a deck built around two new three cost champions and a lot of three cost cards in general. But we're going to have is um, we're going to have our Lissandra package that's going to be going with the Frozen Thralls, right? So we'll have Frozen Thrall, Lissandra and Draclorn Inquisitor. And those, of course, should hopefully uh, make some 8-8s, right? Like, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make these 8-8 uh, Frost Guard Thralls with 8-8 eight, eight with Overwhelms. And 8-8s, eight of course, hitting... 8-8s eight, do attack for more than 5, and they will and they also help level up LeBlanc really fast and also help us get reputation um, as well. And also, if we can attack with an 8-8... Eight, eight, we can have this black rose spy that can, uh, with reputation, if we do, if we get that, if we can hit, you know, four different times with, with five power things, we can turn this black rose spy into another eight eight. So we can have two mana um, for an eight eight overwhelm. We got Avros and Trapper making an enraged yeti. That's going to be a five five. We have the thorn of the rose, which will strike for five. So a few different things that can strike for five. Um, Captain Farron, of course, also going to be an eight mana eight eight for us as well. Um, and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to kind of combine uh, some LeBlanc syn reputation synergies and some Lissandra. Interesting Lissandra build here. So let's get to it. Let's go ahead and go play our five games in ranked. Try not two new champions together. All right, so we have our our uh, Ice Shards. Ice Shards could be an important card in this matchup. All right, so this is... A good hand, you know, like lots of three cost cards, but how are we going to sequence? Like, I feel like we want Trapper kind of first, but we also want to get, we also want Lissandra first for like the Frozen Thrall to get this countdown started. This is, this is going to be a difficult one to sequence between those. I'm going to replace the Whispered Words, and I feel like I should replace one of these threes. I feel like we can't really keep, because you know, like one of them will be turn three, one of them will be turn four. I don't know if we want another one on turn five. And so I guess it's probably going to be Trapper and Lissandra the ones we want early. So we're going to replace these two. Alright, so I'm glad we got the Ice Shard. Which one of these do we play on three and which one do we play on four? That's the real question. Suit up, why are you burst speed? I can't stop you. <laughs> okay. Alright, I guess it's Lissandra start trying to get this watcher out here. I feel bad that we're not getting this in Rage Yeti. feel really bad I didn't go for the Enrage Yeti. So this definitely looks like another suit up. Correct. You once you, whenever you're in whatever rank, you cannot derank. So if you're in like platinum four, you can't go back to gold. Or if you're in diamond four, you can't go back to platinum, and all that kind of stuff. So Yeah, I guess I could have blocked Fizz and gone for Fury of the North after blocking Fizz. That's true. Come my 
I was kind of more focused on like the flash freezes and stuff, but yeah, I guess that, that would have been an option. Alright, so will this Twisted Fate see those cards being drawn? I'm not sure. Hopefully not. Yay. Good. Well, it's, so it didn't see those th three, but it's all the... That other one. Alright, so eight mana. Alright, so yeah, I can play in Rage Yeti. Yeah, I think Mono Shurima is a good option for climbing and everything. I like Mono Shurima. So I have two Fury of the Norths. You're bluffing. We live here. I ain't afraid. Two, two Fury of the Norths don't doesn't kill them. I guess two Fury of the Norths and then an Ice Shard would kill them. Be Ice Shard next turn. So they, yeah, they'd have to have the six damage. Okay. Okay, they found the burn spells to kill me. Okay, so I was dead no matter what I did. GG's. Fizz suit up, living the dream. Alright, Azir Elise, the very good version of Azir Aggro. Let's keep that. LeBlanc can maybe kill an Azir. So we'll save the two mana for Troll Champ for next turn for LeBlanc. There's nothing to fear. That's too bad. Blighted Ravine Levant Le Yeah. Blighted Ravine LeBlanc. A little awkward. We can use the bite. I could have just saved two life by just targeting the Sand Soldier for the minus. I guess that's not the best play by me. I could have saved two life. What do you consider the fastest ladder climbing deck? This probably this deck here. It's Elisa's ear. Come closer. I don't bite. If you want just a, a really fast ladder climbing deck that's really good, that's what I'd recommend. Um, I got a video of it up on YouTube from a few days ago. There you are. Yeah, this deck is really nice. Okay, so it's not exactly my version because I didn't have that card, Mask Mother. Now. 
I just can't play Blighted Ravine. If it, because if I kill like my LeBlanc, so what do we do? It doesn't even like kill anything. Smart. A new seed. Of two golden crowns, one bears tarnish. And now we wait. Never glad collector is smart. A new seed. Makes that deck like playing Elise and playing Neverglade Collector makes that deck awesome. And then obviously Blighted Caretaker does its thing, but Elise is really tough to stop in that deck. Basically keeping the ice shard because of Zoe. This is usually not a matchup that one ice shard, but I think because of Zoe. We're going to keep it. And it's either it's either play Frozen Thrall this turn or play one of the three drops on turn three. And I want Frozen Thrall out and play as early as possible. So we're not going to play a three drop on turn three because I'm playing this Ice Shard. I should wait till combat, because they could just play another Zoe. So that was more likely. I mean, if I would have if, if I would have froze the four three last game, if I would have froze the four three and played Ravine, all Ravine would have done is killed my LeBlanc, my only card that that I could do anything with. It would have killed the LeBlanc, would have killed just like two things on their side. It wouldn't have killed like they had the three health things. The the Ravine just didn't it didn't. It didn't kill like anything. It just killed would have killed like a two one and a one one. They would have all three of their three health things, and then they you know they had like the Neverglades. Gotcha. I am not yeah, I'm not I am not a fan of like Trapper, LeBlanc, Lissandra all in the same spot of the curve here. This is just this has been really awkward a couple of these games. Alright, last time I like led with like Lissandra instead. I'm let's get let's let's play the trappers first so that we can try to get the enraged yetis. Because then, like, the Enraged Yetis will allow us to double spell. Bask in her radiant blessing. Took the bait. Enraged Yetis also help Whisper Words. I guess this Whisper Words only costs two mana if I play it right now, anyway. It can't be. Places to go, people to be.
Because, like, you have to play Lissandra as early as possible to get the Frozen Thrall as early as possible, and you also have to play Trapper as early as possible for these things to, to be good, and then you also need to play LeBlanc right away because it's an attacker. So we have all three drops that all... Like, our, our whole deck are, are on the exact same part of the curve, and they want us to play them at the exact same moment in time. And that just doesn't work. That's a big... That's, that's a pretty big problem. You know, like, sometimes you have, like... You know, cards that are, like, better if you just hold on to them later kind of thing. But, like, all none of, none of these are better if you hold on to them later. They're also kind of our only threats. Hmm. So I like. I think if we just <clears throat> probably don't want to. We're just kind of playing these games. It doesn't seem like Lissandra and LeBlanc really fit together because of that. Oh yeah, I'm so deflated over here. I just have a leveled up Zoe. So yeah, playing like Ash LeBlanc or Swain Lissandra, yeah, those those both kind of make sense. Yeah, because they have like the different po points of the curve and. Are a little bit more complimentary. That's alright. We are playing some of the, like the very best decks. I I think that Zoe, like I, I think really highly of both the last deck that we played and this deck that we're playing, Zoe Aphelios and, um, and then the the last one, the Azir Elise. That one's also awesome. And then of course you had Twisted Fate Fizz, which is amazing. Like we are playing some of the act like the very very best decks, in my opinion, with these games. Okay, so when you play a stack, you never play LeBlanc on three. She's there for the duplicative value. Does that mean, like, mirror? When you say duplicative, does that mean the mirror image card? Is that what you mean? Darling, you are dressed to kill. <laughs> Is it really so obvious? Kimble and quick, the trickster. No, I don't have any three man. I mean, Ice Shard is the only removal card. No, no Culling Strike, if that's what you're asking. I have Scorched Earth and Ice Shard. Alright, we'll start with Trapper. See what else we got. Yeah, hearth card. Yeah, hearth card at five. You know, being a five-five, I could see that being good. The reputation, everything. 
I could see that. Maybe instead of like the Thorn of the Rose, because we, we do have just all the, the too many threes. We do all, I guess we do already have one five drop with the four five. But... That would help us play a later game. You know, with the whispered words and stuff. Again, I'm playing this so we can try to get the, the one mana 5-5 five five so we can, you know, maybe double spell. Cool. Alright, that's pretty lucky. Yeah, Draclorn Inquisitor is our way to speed up the countdown on these. Everything's easier behind the mask. Business as usual. So block with the five one, that'll be three. So if I troll chant this, I still definitely have stuff that kill my Lissandra. Are you quite done? Yeah, have a Rosen Sentry. Yeah, have a Rosen Sentry would be awesome to have to help draw more cards. Definitely. And just be yeah, be on a better spot on the curve than like that 5-1. Yeah, that could be really nice. Reaching Dragon? I forgot they were Demacia. Wait, should my reputation be 3 out of 4? Did that 5 1 not do 5 damage? Oh, the, the quicksand? Okay. Open attacking, I think, is my guile. Come on, Captain Farron. Come save us. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Come save us. Oh. Well, maybe not. You call this a fight? Aha. Follow my lead. Maybe not. All right, such so gangplank. 
We got Frozen Thrall, for Frozen Thrall, Inquisitor. That's very good. How good is Ice Shards going to be? Like, if they have... Well, mana 1-1 one, one Elusive, Ice Shards could be good. But besides that... I don't think I want it. Alright, let's see if we get a cool Frozen Thrall game. We've been really missing you, Draklorn. Like, last game, Draklorn, you would have been incredible. <laughs> we had all those Frozen Thralls, but we couldn't, couldn't pop them. So many frozen thralls. Are they pass him. Catalyst. That means Sejuani this turn. Pain is nothing. You have never had to endure real That's pretty nice. pain, Sejuani. Bristle, attack. So I can tomb the 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 Sejuani. But then I don't get my Draclorn Inquisitor in play. Come on, Draclorn. Get the Frozen Thrall chain going. I love drawing another... Wow, voices? They, they Voices, they're really rampant. I love drawing another Lissandra. So it's going to be an Entomb. All right, we got the Watcher. I will remind the world of true power. Whenever you get like this kind of Lissandra package, you get you know a couple Frozen Thralls early, Draclorn Inquisitor, Lissandras. It's pretty sweet. Did a great job of drawing like the entire Lissandra package. The Dreadway. All right, I'm going to play you. Feel the power of true ice. Kill that thing. So like will it be more difficult for them to turn on plunder if I, you know, if I have a tough nexus? Like I guess so. Obviously they have the dreadway that doubles, but I'm planning on getting rid of that. Yeah, so that warning shot deals two, so it deals one, so it levels up Sejuani. The, winter's claw the main question is do they have you know, do they have another one of those? Nope. Because another one would frostbite like this frozen thrall. And I know I could have done less with the troll champ, but I want to save it just in case. I want to see what they had. Okay. Um where are you at? You're still only at two out of four. Man, I can't quite play. Man, I can't play the Watcher. Oh well. There we go. No Noxus cards needed. <laughs> All Freljord there. Our entire Lissandra package with Frostbite and Troll Chance and Entombs. 
That's that was sweet. That's what we need. Just all those cards. Okay, so there we go. So there was our Lissandra LeBlanc deck. Had some cool ideas in here, you know, having LeBlanc with all of the 8-8s. Eight um, but it kind of felt like if we have the 8-8s eight with the Frozen Thralls, that's really powerful. And that's really what we, what we want to be going for. And I'm not sure if LeBlanc really really helps out that plan too much, right? Like once we have the 8-8s, eight eights, um, our opponent just kind of dies. <laughs> and so I don't know if LeBlanc really helps that much. But we did see that just... This can be a problem with deck building, right? Like having 19 three mana cards, not a good idea. We we saw that of just having LeBlanc, Lissandra, um, where are they at? Averroes and Trapper, Thorn of the Rose, all these things on the same spot. Um, did you know that just did not work out very well? Um, Blighted Ravine and and Ice Shard also, but both of those just didn't really didn't work out very well because Blighted Ravine was just. It was just too difficult to play with with having like Le, LeBlanc and Thorn of the Rose. Like that's that's just a, a that was a pretty rough combination trying to put those two together. Because like against the aggro deck, like I needed Blighter Ravine, but most of their stuff was like three health, and it would just kill my LeBlanc, and it was it was pretty messy. Um, but the Lissandra package with Draclorn Inquisitor, very good. Definitely really liked all of that kind of stuff. Um, I think for this deck, I would definitely recommend, you know, playing some some more one and two mana cards especially like two mana units and then probably playing some four and five mana stuff as well just kind of you know kind of splitting this up you know get you know you know, try to try to split, split this curve up some but i don't i just don't know if leblanc and lissandra work that well together though because you really want to play lissandra on turn three and you really want to play leblanc on turn three like leblanc's not a very good turn five turn six play Lissandra's not a very good turn five, turn six play. Like unless unless you already have like multiple other frozen thralls in play or something. So neither neither one of them, even like turn four, like you know, like the longer you wait on these cards, the worse. And definitely the same with Trapper. The longer you wait on Trapper, the worse. So that they don't really so they don't really they don't um so therefore they don't complement each other very well because of that. Because like if you if you have both Le- LeBlanc and Lissandra in hand, you got to play one of them on turn four, and neither both of them are much weaker on turn four. Um, so that's why like pairing pairing these, you know, pairing like LeBlanc with, you know, like Ash or or Darius, or playing pairing Lissandra with Trundle or Swain, or LeBlanc with LeBlanc with Sejuani. You know, like all those like they. I think like those other champions can probably complement the ones that we have better because you can play like the three mana champion earlier and then play your more powerful champion later, right? Like a, you know, like a Trundle is going to be more powerful on turn five than like a Lissandra or, you know, like, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. You know, it's, it's all, it's all, you know, I, I love to experiment with different uh, champion combinations and everything. And Um, that's not something that I would have just said off the top, you know, like I kind of had to like play the games and kind of see how it played out, right? Like that wasn't something that I necessarily came to that conclusion immediately, um, beforehand. So that's why, that's why it's always good to just try out all sorts of champion combinations and see how they work and everything like that. All right, but that's Lissandra LeBlanc, first deck of the day. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube. Hit that like button over there, and as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.